Hello, my name is Raisa Sade. I'm a fourth year medical student at the Ahan University based in Karachi, Pakistan. I, along with a group of other medical students, noticed that individuals who identify as transgender are often marginalized by the healthcare systems in the developing world. Their specific health needs are often not catered to, leading to poorer health outcomes. Upon exploring this further, we realized that this may be due to the lack of awareness and education of healthcare providers about their specific health concerns. As medical students are the healthcare professionals of tomorrow, we wanted to evaluate the knowledge and attitudes of medical students regarding the health needs of people who are transgender. We also wanted to assess their perceived need for education on transgender health. We therefore carried out a cross-sectional study titled The Need for a Transgender Healthcare Medical Education in a Developing Country. Our study was conducted amongst undergraduate medical students using a self-designed questionnaire. We stratified students based on their year of medical education and randomly sampled students from within each year. A total of 249 students were surveyed. We found that while most students understood what it means to be transgender, knowledge regarding the specific health needs of people who identify as transgender was lacking, with a significantly higher percentage of preclinical students having poor knowledge as compared to students in their clinical years. Most students felt that in our country, people who identify as transgender face a lack of access to healthcare and that they are poorly integrated into society. In the clinical setting, a large proportion of students felt that patients who are transgender were treated differently and were unsure of how to address and clinically examine them. However, most students demonstrated good or fair attitudes towards that individuals who identify as transgender and the majority reported a high or moderate perceived need for the inclusion of a transgender health component in the undergraduate medical curriculum. From this study, we can conclude that there are deficiencies in the transgender healthcare related education in the current medical school curriculum. However, positive attitudes and a high perceived need lay the foundation for developing a medical curriculum that gives due priority to transgender related healthcare. This can help bridge disparities in healthcare provision to transgender people in developing countries.